Hello everyone, it's Mr. Andre, and I'm here in the library at House by Town English. Our story for today is Get Me Another One, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Mike Bolt. This story is a great reminder that in fishing, there is no losing. You either catch or you learn. Let's start reading. Get Me Another One, written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Mike Bolt. Read by Mr. Andre. Christy sat at the end of the dock and yelled to her father, Daddy, I want to go fishing in a boat. Everybody else in Rocky Harbor goes fishing in a boat. Her father yelled back, You are just a little kid. You are one of the littlest kids I know and you would probably fall into the ocean. But Christy said, No, no, I will hang on. I will wear a life jacket. I will be very careful. Her father thought for a while and said, Ah, okay. Christy was having a wonderful time out on the ocean, but then it started to get windy and the boat went up and down like this. La, 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 la. Christy said, I don't feel so good. And her father said, "Uh uh-oh. Then it got windier and the waves got bigger and the boat went up and down like this. La, 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 la. Christy said, I feel sick. Yikes, said her father. Then it got really windy and the waves got really big and the boat went up and down like this. La, 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 la. Christy said, Daddy, I think I'm going to throw up. Oh no, said her father. Not in my clean boat. If you're going to throw up, throw up over the side. So Christy leaned over the side of the boat A big wave came and she fell right into the ocean. Oh no! yelled Christy's father. He turned the boat around and went back to get Christy. He grabbed her by the collar and pulled as hard as he could, but he could not lift her out of the water. He said, Christy, you're just a little kid. Why can't I get you into the boat? Well, said Christy, I have a hold of the tail of an enormous fish. Good, said her father. Keep a hold of that fish. He took the hook off his fishing line and tied the line to Christy's ear. Then he pulled as hard as he could and Christy came flying into the boat. She was holding a codfish that was two meters long. Look at this fish, said Christy. It's fantastic. It's incredible, said her father. You're great at fishing. Let's take it home and show it to mommy, said Christy. Wait, said her father. We've only caught one fish. We should get more. Sure, said Christy. I love fishing. So her father said, then go get me another one. And he picked up Christy and threw her back into the ocean. Christy, said her father, what kind of fish have you got? Well, said Christy, I think it's a whale. Yikes, said her father. He looked down in the water and there was a whale. It was much, much longer than the boat. Christy, said her father. Let go of the whale. But it's a nice little whale, said Christy. I want to take it home and show it to mommy. Christy, said her father, please let go of the whale. So Christy let go of the whale and her father took the boat back to Rocky Harbor. Christy's mother was waiting on the dock. Christy said, Look, look, I fell in the ocean and caught this fish. Daddy threw me back in to catch another one, but it got away. Her mother said, 
Your father took you fishing? Yes, said Christy. Her mother said, You fell overboard? Yes, said Christy. Her mother said, Your father threw you back in the ocean? Yes, said Christy. I love fishing. Christy's mother looked at her father and said, You threw her back in the ocean? Yes, said her father. Her mother yelled, Why? Well, said her father, She caught the biggest fish I have ever seen, so I threw her back in to get me another one. Right, said Christy's mother. If fish are so important, why don't you go get another one yourself? And she picked up Christy's father and threw him in the ocean. Then Christy and her mother had a big fish dinner and invited everyone in town. And the next day, everybody went fishing. The end. This has been a reading for House by Town English, read by Mr. Andre.